Hello everyone, I am AK Calypso and this is The Sims 4. I did a speed build recently. Um, I'm not well versed in the realm of Sims 4 builds. I've played Sims 4 for a couple years now, but I never built anything and I wanted to give it a try. This is one of my first builds, so please be kind to me. Um, usually when I played, I just made a character and stayed in one of the EA provided houses. I really hope that you enjoyed the house build and if you have any advice for me on how to build in The Sims 4, please leave it in the comments. I'm really new to this and I really want to do more in the future. I love playing The Sims and I'd like to learn how to build my own houses rather than stay in a house provided by the game or download something off the gallery. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm rambling. Uh, let's get into the build. So I decided to build a house I saw on, I think Zillow. It was a fairly small house um, it really piqued my interest because you'll see later on. There was no stairs inside the house. It was a two-story house, but the stairs to the upper floor were outside. And I believe the upper floor was actually a bedroom like I'm building it here. I tried to turn this into a tiny house, but um, that didn't work out too well. Because of the way the build was in real life, it was hard to translate into The Sims without the bedroom being impossibly small or everything looking cramped. So I just decided after a little while that it wasn't worth it. I will mention that I don't have every pack in Sims. I just have a few can't remember the whole list off the top of my head but I know the packs that were free this year like um, jungle adventure romantic gardens uh, my first pet stuff I got all that um, I believe I have paranormal cats and dogs and realm of magic so I wasn't building with a lot here This right here is just me trying to figure out the layout and trying to figure out the stairs. In the build I saw, the balcony on the second floor was actually huge. It was like a third of the size of the bedroom, but obviously I can't do that here because it doesn't convert, I guess is the word I'm thinking for thinking for <laughs> thinking of it doesn't convert well right here I'm just trying to figure out the windows the windows that they use in oh and there it goes the windows that they used in the real life build I don't think in any pack in The Sims 4, I could get those types of windows. And this was actually the feature that made me want to build the house in the first place. For some reason, there was this huge space above the front door and by that door, there was a floating column. I couldn't do that because I don't know the game well, but there was a floating column. And I guess they're called rafters. I wouldn't know um, rafters like that connecting to the house and I have no idea why it was there I, I can't think it's for structural purposes but 
I just looked at it and thought, you know what? I think I'm going to build this. The house was small enough for a first time build and it just looks so weird to me. Um, I'm sorry if I keep going down to the basement level or the camera zips around a lot. This was me trying to figure out the controls of the game. For the longest time, I played on my laptop and I hardly used the keybinds. I usually just zipped around with my mouse. Um, I will admit, in the actual house, the kitchen was exactly this size. It was only like two, three counters. The kitchen was really small. And honestly, if I tried to translate how small the kitchen was to the game, it'd look awful. Right here, just a basic dining table. I highly doubt three Sims will be living in this house, but I put three chairs anyway. Because I'm so limited on packs, I was trying to find a couch that like how they furnished the house in real life, but I just couldn't find anything. Hopefully I'll be able to get a few more packs in the coming year. Also, for reference, I do have better, better build by in my game. So if you see debug items, just know that um, the settings for the mod automatically just have it in the gallery. Not the gallery, the catalog. Sorry. And this was another thing I was struggling to figure out. I'm really not good with uh, Oh my gosh, my brain. The keybind. Uh, alt? Is it? I tried to alt play stuff and it's a hassle to figure out. And I will say I was fairly foolish for A, not placing lights, and B, not just turning the camera so I can place this on the camera. After a while trying to fidget with the salt and pepper, I just gave up on that. It wasn't worth it in my mind. I truly did intend for this to be a starter home, but by the time I started putting in furnishings that I wanted in the house, I quickly realized I didn't did not have the funds for that. And nor did I want to put boring looking furnishings in the house. But I still ended up putting some pretty basic amenities in here. And by the end, I'm pretty sure uh, the house wasn't beautifully decorated. It just was good enough.
I actually don't remember if I ended up moving that bathroom door or not. Now looking at it, I probably would end up moving it. And slightly rearranging the kitchen. I really do not like where it's placed right now. Oh, and here. I really don't like using plain white walls. I'd rather the walls be some sort of pastel color than white. these windows on the side of the building were honestly the bane of my existence in the real house they were a type of window that i just don't have in game and i was trying to figure out a proper replacement for them and it was honestly driving me mad Same with this bathroom window. And here was me trying to figure out how to decorate the room so it doesn't look as boring. But no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't find a rug I was happy with. Because I wanted something to match the bed. In all honesty, I was planning on having one of my sims live in here. And he has a very uh, beige color palette. So that's kind of how I was trying to furnish the room. But I just could not find stuff I was happy with that were in that color scheme. Looking at it again, if I really wanted to, I would definitely come back and do a second try of this house. I'm not as thrilled with the way it turned out. For the amount of money I spent on it and the way it looks, I'm just not satisfied. Here where I started realizing, hmm, I spent all my money and I didn't put down all the floors and wallpaper I wanted. I would have thought that after watching James Turner and Little Simsy, I would have realized that I should put down my wallpapers and floors first and then built around that but anyway 
I was trying to put down a bath mat, but I don't really like the two tile mat. I was hoping for something maybe two and a half tiles. I don't think there's ever a half tile in the rugs. The notorious toilet paper that a majority of people seem to forget. Another problem of mine was worrying too much about The Sims being able to use the items. Because I know that The Sims pathing is extremely finicky. So I was afraid to clog up the floor space and they wouldn't be able to use everything. But I honestly should have put in a, a little bit of research to see how the sims work. Just so I can make this place look a little more lived in. In right there. 10,000 smackaroos. Also, I can only imagine how annoying this place would be to live in. Not just in The Sims, but in real life too. Having to go outside every single day, climb up and down a set of steps just to go eat or go to bed. That sounds like far too much work. I can only question who built this and the practicality of it. Oh, and here was me trying to figure out columns. Because I thought you could maneuver them. You probably can, and I'm just extremely unintelligent. But. While scrolling through your debug, I found these cute little tiles. These little stone pads that I really wanted to use. And although this wasn't in the real life build, I couldn't find any other situation where I'd be able to use these, so I decided to use them here. Honestly, these uh, debug stones are super cute. I wanted to see if I could use those larger stones, but they didn't match the vibe. Oh, and there's my sim. 
And it was around here while setting up the stones that I realized my sim has a cat. And I put no pet stuff down. So I immediately decided, you know what? After I do the garden, I'm going to go back and add all that pet stuff. I must say, this debug stuff is really good for landscaping. Especially if you're trying to make a uh, affordable starter home. I can hardly call this starter. Affordable home. Because then the landscaping can be free. And you're only worried about buying the house itself. The landscaping in the real life house was extremely barren. If you can imagine the stereotypical boring rich people landscaping. That's what it looked like. Perfectly trimmed grass. There was hardly any bushes. All the trees were in a row. Quite honestly, it didn't look that good. I decided to try to do something a little more exciting. And I don't know why in that moment I didn't just move the move the viewer to downstairs instead of just flipping the camera. But I will never question the mind of someone who's flustered and nervous about their first Sims 4 build. I honestly, in this area, just wanted flowers that weren't like the terrain paint and also weren't just the massive flowers you get in debug but I wasn't finding anything that matched what I wanted I don't know if I put any more rocks around the area, but I realized that I really like rocks in my build. Because this wasn't the only one I did. After this one, I did a build. I wanted the stones to look like people actually walk on them, but it, it was kind of hard to do with um, 
without making it look like the grass was just dead within like five inches of the stones. Hopefully I can figure out terrain paint for the future. And because I remembered that my sim, uh, Sylvester, has a cat, I decided to put that little uh, cat plant on his desk. Honestly, one of the cutest items I've seen in game. I have seen a couple videos where people will take seen a couple videos where people will take potted plants and group them together so they look like one item. I really like that idea. I was really trying to figure out these folded shirts. I didn't want the room to look barren at the same time. Right here, I'm pretty sure I was trying to figure out where to place a few skill building items and figure out where to place the light. I don't think I've ever used anything but these lights. They kind of get in my way sometimes. Right here, I didn't really want to put another bookshelf, but I couldn't think of anything else that would fill up the space of the entryway that wasn't painting. For me, paintings are kind of bland. I'm pretty sure... Uh... I was also reconsidering putting cabinets here. For me, it makes uh, kitchen space look a little small. Again, with this rug. I'm pretty sure I used that rug whenever I want to modify the house I'm currently living in. Whenever I want to modify the bathroom, I always put that rug down. I wish I would stop defaulting to it. I 
thought I was just gonna put a regular pet bowl down. But after a little bit, I realized that gameplay wise, that'd be incredibly annoying to use. his cat to be a glutton and I think I may be wrong correct me if I'm wrong I think that makes your pet hungrier more often it was right here right here at this moment sorry to do a little 180 but it was right there that I realized I didn't put down trash cans it's always the thing with Sims 4 builds. Everybody forgets a trash can. So I'm going to hop in game and fix a couple things. <laughs> 